Okay, and this is uh, the operation of a M1A SOCOM 16. It's clear. So, number one, I guess, which is kind of weird, is the safety. It's pretty tight. I can't do it with my finger. So, that's fire. That's safe. You can go to the trigger. It's a two stage trigger. So, you got first stage take up and then the brake. <coughs> pretty nice trigger and to lock the boat back push the button on the side or it's the magazine it's rocking it'll lock back on the last shot so going back to the magazine forward and back just like the mini 14 I guess the Mini 14 is modeled after this gun. And the sights. It's a kind of ghost ring, peep sight, aperture sight. So uh, you got the post and the peep. And what you want to do is you want to put the center of the post in the middle of the, the circle. But what I do is when you're looking through the peep, the, the U on the, the post, it actually goes on the bottom of the circle. So that's how I line it up. And um, I have this thing, um, it's uh, sighted in at 25 yards. And the battle zero, they call it. They call it. So real, real nice sights. So, <clears throat> and the easy way if you wanna, um, drop the hammer without dry firing is you know you just pull it back pull the trigger and there you go drop the hammer so and stripper clips snap caps just put it straight in and you kind of push down towards the back straight down There it went. So, yeah, this is a fun rifle. 16, 16 and a quarter inch barrel. And you got the flip top. This is for when they used to shoot it in full auto. And you got the the compartment for the cleaning case or a cleaning kit back there. So yeah, really nice rifle. This is my favorite rifle. So let's go take it to the range. And don't forget the sequence when you want to unload the gun, you remove the magazine first and then remove the, uh, the round, work the action.
you see there the action lock back on the last shot.